Sometimes people ask, can I use my central vacuum to suck up liquids? And my usual smart aleck response is, yes, you can. One time. And uh, usually they, they get the drift that really the answer is no. You're not supposed to do that. But why is that? Why aren't you supposed to? I mean, if you have a built-in vacuum, you know that it sucks up just about everything and it goes far away and out of sight, out of mind. Let's say, and I'm, I'm down here in my basement right now. I've got my little fountain over here. What if this leaked all over the floor and I needed to suck up the water with something? Let's say I don't have a shop vac, but I've got my my powerful central vac system. What if I just plug the hose in and vacuum it up? What happens? Well, the piping has not been installed with liquid traveling through it uh, as part of the design. So the piping might go up here and then might go over and might go up a little bit and down a little bit to get around obstacles. And, um, and so liquid's going to sit in it. And that's not even if it gets into the machine. If you really suck up a lot of liquids, then moisture will get into the central vac unit and create a big nasty mess and possibly damage the components of the machine. They're usually not equipped with a shutoff when they get full, and so excess liquid can damage things. It's just not a good idea. Now there is such a thing as a wet dry central vacuum and we've sold and installed a few of them. One of the ones we uh, have used is called the Aqua Air System and uh, in the right application that can be a really cool thing. The Aqua Air power unit uh, is installed with a water line and a drain connection. It is self emptying. Um, you can pick up wet debris, dry debris. Usually the way it works is that Anything you pick up is misted with water at the intake of the machine, so even dry debris becomes wet in order so that it can be flushed down the sewer. The piping system is um, installed in a very particular manner so that it will work without causing problems. You can see that either the piping needs to go down or the piping needs to go down and then up, creating a little trap so that when you shut the system off, when you pull the hose out, the liquid that's sitting or, or was traveling up this pipe can drip down and can sit somewhere instead of running down your wall. And you can see also uh, the trunk line needs to be installed with a high spot and then the main horizontal line. And we need to account for the Y connections and, and control where that liquid's going to go. So most of the time, unless you have a wet dry central vacuum, your piping system just won't have been installed like this and sucking up liquid is asking for trouble. But if you have a need to pick up liquid and you really want to use your built-in vacuum for it, you can do so by intercepting the liquid before it enters the piping system. And you do that with something called, fittingly, an interceptor. And this is a this particular one is made by Vacuumade, Lindsay Manufacturing. And you can see it kind of looks like a shop vac without a motor. It's got a little short hose on it. And if we take the lid off, I've already undone the latches here. You can see inside, this is where the, the um, water would come in. And it would go into the bucket, fill that bucket up. And as it's being filled, this little piece of styrofoam is floating up until it gets to the point where it blocks off the suction from the system and that prevents the water being ingested into into your short hose so the way you do this is you take this plug it into your wall inlet so now I've got suction here and I can take the end of my long hose this is the end I would normally put straight into the wall for dry vacuuming and I put it in here and now everything I suck up is going through the hose and into here and none of that liquid is going to go into my piping system. You may have seen a setup like this uh, if you've ever been at a pancake house late at night when they're vacuuming. Lots of them use a built-in vacuum for noise and for, for health reasons and also because they just last longer than a portable vacuum in a restaurant application. And uh, they're actually using this to catch dry debris or semi-dry debris because um, when you're sucking up 
food residue in addition to parking lot dirt and whatever else that just forms this greasy nasty mess that builds up inside the walls of the piping and so in order to make that system trouble free they catch the debris in an interceptor like this one before it enters the piping so this is the way to do it if you have stuff that um, you really need the power of a central vacuum system or the other benefits but you you really can't have things flowing through the pipes uh, this is how you do it with an interceptor and I hope you enjoyed this video and as always happy vacuuming